Alright, we're going to pick back up with example number 4. It's already in a squared, um, ax squared plus bx plus c form, so we just need to name our a, b, and c. a is 1, b is 6, c is 13. Our formula, if we recall, is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2a, and that's a formula that you need to memorize, so you need to write it every time you work a problem, and it'll help you to do that. x equals negative, and then b is 6, b squared, so it's going to be 6 squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 a. Okay, now we want to simplify x equals negative 6 plus or minus 6 squared is 36 and then negative 4 times 1 negative 4 times 1 times 13 is negative 52 so it gives me the square root of negative 16 all divided by 2 well, if I come off to the side and I break, and I simplify the square root of negative 16, I can break that apart as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. The square root of negative 1 is i, and the square root of 16 is 4. So that becomes 4, just 4i. Four so when I rewrite it, I'm going to say negative 6 plus or minus 4i over 2. And then I can see that this number, this number, and this number, all of those can simplify by 2, so I divide a 2 out of each of them. x equals negative 3 plus or minus 2i over 1. So I'm not just going to put it over 1, so I have negative 3 plus 2i, and I have negative 3 minus 2i. Alright, number 5, we need to solve this out, just pull this out first, so we're going to have x squared minus x plus 5x minus 5 equals 2. So I have x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 2. I want 0 it to be equal to 0, so I need to subtract 2 from both sides. And then that should give us our format, x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals 0. And now it's in the correct form, and we need to name our a, b, and c. a is going to be 1, b is 4, c is negative 7. Our formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Now when we substitute those values in, we have negative and then b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a. Now when we simplify, we're going to get um, x equals negative 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 16, and then a negative 4 times 1 times a negative 7 is a positive 28. 28 plus 16 is going to be 44. Alright, if I come check to see if 44 simplifies, I want to take out prime factors. Well, divide that, and you're going to get 22. Divide that by 2, and you have 11. So since there's a pair... That simplifies the 2 square root of 11. So, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So we said we're going to rewrite this plus or minus the square root of 44 as 2 square root of 11. And divide that by 2. Now remember we always check our coefficients to make sure a 2 can divide out of each of these. So I want to simplify. So x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 11 over 1. So my answers are negative 2 plus the square root of 11, negative 2 minus the square root of 11. 
Alright, and number six is our last one. So, I really like my A value to be positive. So, when I have the option, I want to bring this to the other side. And then I want to subtract 3x. So, when you move everything over, I have 4x squared minus 3x plus 6 from right there equals 0. And now we're ready to solve. We take our formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a. So we take our quadratic formula and now we want to substitute all our values in. Our a in this one is 4. Our b is negative 3. And our c is 6. So we're going to substitute those values in to our formula. x equals negative b b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and solve this. Uh, simplify it. x equals 3 plus or minus, okay, negative 3 squared is 9, and then negative 4 times 4 times 6 is negative 96. When you simplify those, you're going to get the square root of negative 87 over 4 times 2 is 8. Now, if I go off to the side with the square root of negative 87, that can be rewritten as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 87. Well, this becomes i, and the square root of 87 doesn't simplify any further, so that just becomes i square root of 87. So I want to rewrite that as i square root of 87 and then over 8. Well, nothing else simplifies on that, so basically I just want to write 1 with the plus sign, and then I want to write my other one with the minus sign, 3 minus i square root of 87 divided by 8, and that's going to be my solution.